Welcome back. You're watching On the Record with me, Shireen Bhan, and I'm in conversation with DLF's KP Singh. I want to now talk about what you foresee as the future as far as DLF is concerned. Uh, today, by market cap, uh, you know, India's largest real estate company, uh, we of course have seen what you've done as far as Gurgaon is concerned. Is there a regret that perhaps the pan-India aspiration, if you had one, uh, remains unfulfilled? Is that something that you would like to see? No. You've already got partners like GIC on board. Uh, you know, what, what would you like to see, see as far as the future is concerned? The thing is, unfortunately, uh, real estate, people don't understand, is the most complicated business. Real estate is divided into two parts. One is land. Purchase yeah. land and zoning it. That is the biggest, 90% problem. Once you have land, building is easy. You no, know, you can have building carried out by... You know, it is the land. The question is, when you get to land, purchase an assembly to make a bigger area. All kind of characters come. Mafias and all. You deal with them. Politics come. Now, we in DLF decided at that time. We are best at in NCR only. So we actually expanded, then we have, uh, Rajiv was very smart, within two years, we thought that is not our forte, we can't deal with the political and all the people there. So, so he just came in, except I think Chennai and Hyderabad, a couple of people, but not all India. It is, it is foolish for a real estate company to order because you can't deal with all, all the people in all India. Be where you are. It is, and we are, therefore, we have got a, we have got a very major land bank. Yeah. And we, are, we, we keep on, as you know, our buildings are better than the best. I wonder if you've been to our phase five? Not we, yet. Oh, oh my God, you should see, you <laughs> see, it is a different world. When you enter Camellia. Yes. Have you been to Camellia Yes, now? yes. But there's phase five. I wasn't sure which phase it was. <laughs> no, the, the, the Camellia golf course right. and all. Yes. Now, that is an example of what a development of 1,000 acres mm. should be in India. But we were, could do it only within, we couldn't do it any, any mm. outside. And I believe, therefore, this should be in complete refocus on making master plan completely differently mm. and being thinking bigger spaces and provide but but what about accessibility and affordability i mean how many people can afford no, no, uh, coming, camellias I'm, or magnolias no, no i'm coming to that a successful master plan means for every section of society you create you must understand it's not physically possible even communism is not possible people to acquire now, for example, if somebody wants to acquire an apartment here, it's expensive. But in a master plan, you make out areas where the labor force or middle-income people are there, connect them to road network with the main center, develop that place as they are doing affordable housing, but should be done in a bigger way and should be done in, in a manner when, uh, that when people can afford. Is a, every, demand is so huge. Mm. Every section of demand you have to understand, cannot be met by one category. So at the moment, um, like for the rural housing, I'm not talking about that, it's been done extremely yeah. well by the government. And regarding the other matter, it's a matter of need more development, you need more, uh, more, more people in, in it. As far as we are concerned, we are best at, best at doing something which is top, better than the best buildings, and undoubtedly, uh, when we get involved in doing something else, mm. we have not di uh, diverted our attention. It becomes very easy to, to change your mind. Mm. Simple di uh, uh, directed that whatever you're doing, do the best. An example is for you to see. You know, let me end by asking you, you've uh, not just spent the last 50 years uh, steering DLF, but I don't know how many people who don't know your story know about the fact that you spent a fair amount of your time in the army as well, which is where you actually got yeah. started uh, till you decided to quit the army and join your father-in-law and DLF. What would you say today if I were to ask you, have, have been the lessons or the do's and don'ts that have steered you to where you are? What is it that you would like to leave as advice to the generation see, that's watching? Uh, should you, you, uh, what actually, when I reflect back in life now, I don't think anybody has, has more twist and turns in my life. Twist and I don't know how it happened. Imagine I started firstly my education in Madrasa, in a small Madrasa in Bolinshe. From there I jumped off. And then I did my the, the graduation in Merit College. And from there what happened? There I became a horseman because I learned it completely different. And then I went to aeronautical engineering in England. Mm. 
completely different. And from there, because I was a polo player, horseman, I switched on uh, to, uh, for a selection by Sanders for Indian Army, from the Army. I enjoyed Army, everything, nine, ten years. Look at so, mother, sir, to aeronautical engineering, to go to, is completely, the men come to the Army, I enjoyed every bit of it. I stood first in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the academy in, in, in Dehradun, and uh, I enjoyed every bit of my, till it came around that when I got married, I was very lucky to get married to a wonderful family and a great lady. It, they, they had only two uh, uh, daughters, not sons, so father-in-law prevailed upon me that it's high time they stop playing polo and stop uh, come and share a bit in business. So that's how I came. You know, then I started manufacturing business, mm. electric motors mm. and Miller battery. Thereafter, the family pushed me in 1975 to revive DLF again. They yes. were they were totally closed. Yeah. So for how many different twists and turns you take in? But the biggest thing for me, it's question if I uh, if a challenge, most difficult was how do you buy land from future families mm. and how do you integrate it? It's the most difficult thing. And that too on credit, by the way. When we had I had no money. Yeah. So I had, credit can only money land will be given to you on credit only one. When an owner has explicit confidence and faith in you, mm. in your integrity completely, I had to earn that thing. Not working, I had to really earn the faith of people, but it happened. Gurgaon is a classic example. Yeah. Gurgaon would not have happened if I were not a, a, able to, the government never helped me to buy a, even a piece of land. I had to do it myself, with my own thing. And now today you see how many, the, uh, more than 12 lakhs are is, is exponentially growing every time. There is a win-win position, half the revenue of Haryana state comes from, from, from Gurgaon. And as you know, this type of people saying uh, uh, that there is a catalyst for bigger employment, how many people's mm. homes are there, how many new gen generations have come around to bring businesses. So that's why a city like this, Gurgawa, is a pace setter, catalyst mm. for creating more employment, for ensuring more income to the state, and for ensuring good homes, recreation, hospital, education centers. It's only a good city will do, not clustered up cities, mm. not the way we're doing before. So I hope they can do it. I, I just appeal to, to them to change, their, to relook at their urbanization policy. Well, what's the next twist in the K.P. Singh tale? Next twist, my, KP Singh, my, my next twist is uh, how long I will keep on playing golf. <laughs> Even now I play golf, a lot of people get surprised. Uh, coincidentally, my golf... Holes? Yeah, and my golf has improved. My friend tell me, he said, what the hell are you doing? Earlier, whatever I was doing, and the fact is this. I suppose, when you are determined to do something, you see, I, my one basic thing in my life, you ask me a question, and the thing is, somehow, I always had a burning desire in my life, even for small, whenever, I must be something. So it became a way of life with me. Obstacles came. Now it's a dark cloud. I never saw the dark. I saw the silver lining. The silver lining. So by nature, I, I became optimistic. Everything I do. So it for me it became. It, when somebody 76, we saw oh impossible to to develop Gurgaon. You can't. You have no money. You have, uh, laws are against you. Banks are forbidden to give you money. How uh, for blend? How the hell do you do that? I said no. Let's deal. So what looked impossible, I made it possible. Mm. So my life is based upon courage, conviction, always aim high, and try to make impossible into possible. That is my life. Well, impossible is nothing in the words of Mr. K.P. Singh. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us here on the record. We wish you the very best of luck and congratulations once thank you, again. Thank you, thank you. Well, with that, it is time for us to wrap up this edition of On the Record. From all of us here on the team for this week, goodbye. Thanks very much for watching. MCX Aluminium Mini Futures Contract